Hello my loves, this is Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share how to write a sexy letter tips for prisoners on the inside. If you're struggling with getting one of those letters from your loved one, he says that he doesn't know how to do it, he feels insecure because maybe you write better than him, this is for you and him, so please keep watching. If you're new here, my name is Ro. I am the founder of an organization called Strong Prison Lives and Families, the author of a book called The Comeback Code. I will pop a link to it right up there. It's also always in the description box below. We don't glorify or glamorize prison or prison wife life here. However, I will use my years of experience and share with you all of the tools and exercises that I've come up with to help you get through this really painful, hopefully one-shot deal. I've been told by numerous people that they wouldn't have been able to get through their journey without me and that's just so sweet and it's so humbling and it lights up my life to hear that. If you can do me the biggest favor and hit that thumbs up button, I would be eternally grateful. It helps me so much in YouTube and also if you haven't already, hit the little red subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified every single time I post a new video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and we do also go live on some days in between. Okay, let's not waste any more time. now. I got a comment on Facebook today from my friend, we'll call her LB. I don't know if she wants her name mentioned on YouTube, but she is hilarious. I adore her. And I know this was a joke, but I'm gonna read you her comment and I couldn't help myself in making this video as a response. So let's start by reading her little Facebook message. Just a side note, you guys, allergy season is in full swing in New Jersey. So I have the sniffles probably eight months out of the year. If you hear me sniffling and sneezing and coughing, I feel amazing. I did an hour long workout today. I am drinking my pro quarantine, quarantine protein shake. I have not yet come up with a patent on this drink, but, or the name for it clearly, but I feel great. It's just allergies, hashtag they're real. Seasonal allergies are real. And you think your girl takes medication? I'm as stubborn as a freaking ox. I wonder why I'm not a Taurus, really. Anyway, my friend says, when I was watching Rose's video about how to write a love letter the other day, I thought, this is sweet, but who doesn't know how to write a love letter? I'll tell you who, my man. Dear God, this is a man who can drop a rap at the drop of a hat. This is a man, when on visit, can say all the right stuff. But this is a man I have now discovered that cannot craft a beautiful love letter. I've been having a bit of a downer with my living situation and have not been giving Jay my usual high velocity show delivery. She is hysterical, you guys. I love her. That's what she's talking about. He's been lamenting for some time that he feels like I do so much for him. I do. I'm a bloody saint. Oh, she's from England, by the way. And he doesn't know what to do for me. Well, I was able to point him in the right direction. I told him over a period of maybe two months that I would love a pure love letter. That is no dreary, let's face it, talk of commissary cue dramas, no droning on about how sick he is of that place. Now, some may think that's a bit harsh, but then you maybe don't know my dark sense of humor and also, come on, starting every letter, phone call, visit with, well, you know, babe, just trying to get by and do my best in this place. I'm so tired, I'm sick of it. Does just make me wanna fast forward that bit so we can get to the bits that we muck about and have a laugh. I'm so jacking this up, by the way, because her accent is beautiful and mine is from New Jersey. <laughs> Before anyone feels they have to pull me on this, I am very compassionate and empathetic and will listen to Jay if he needs to vent or is particularly down, but I will not engage with unnecessary self-pity. I am more of a solution than a problem dweller. I am a professional living caretaker, have adopted rescue cats, and I'm a Pisces. You don't get any more compassionate than that. I'm also a cheeky mischief who likes to laugh at dark things, so sue me. Anyway, back to the preferred contents of the love letter. So I just wanted no prison talk and lots of why he loves me slash us, some light fantasy chat, what he finds attractive about me, by the way, he loves my somewhat dubious sense of humor, pillow talk, compliments, etc. A love letter. He'd been alluding to this letter for a while and I'd been very patient. 
well, passive aggressive actually, with making a joke out of the time it was taking him and how I'd have thought now that classes were canceled, he'd have a bit of spare time. The night before last, I was really not myself at all and he knew that. So once again, promise me the letter would be winging its way to me real soon. Haha, ha, another thing, he's not so hot on surprises. So last night, right before he called my JPay message pinged and I opened it eagerly, well F me sideways, it was a bog standard, moany old monologue about how sh his day, that place, his life was. He also has a habit of rehashing whatever we just spoke about on the phone. So not only is it boring and dull, it's also repetitive AF. I'm really beginning to think that the written word is not his love language. Ha ha ha. The only loving thing he said was, babe, we will prevail, which is my saying to him all the time. Although I'm beginning to wonder, ha ha ha. Well, I was so pissed off at this bloody email, I immediately replied outlining very precisely exactly what did and didn't constitute a love letter and precisely how to write one, even giving him ideas for content. By this time, I'm thinking the fun and spontaneity of it has left the building effing hours ago. So he calls me and I'm kind of fuming and he can sense this, but I'm doing a piss take of him and the inevitable excuses that I know he will wheel out and he does not let me down on this. And at one point he dares to go into a sulk and mumble. I just feel like I don't know how to make you happy right now. Oh my God, you so do. I've given you clear written instructions on exactly how to make me happy. You are just choosing not to do it. At this point, I really did start to feel incredibly pissed off. His whining excuses were not helping. So I said, I love you, but I don't wanna to speak to you right now as I'm quite upset. I then tried to go to sleep, but I was so mad that he really was making it all about him that I sent another email saying, don't bother me about the bloody love letter now as it had been like pulling teeth to try to get this thing and if written now would have lost all its sweet meaning. This morning I woke up to an email. It was my long awaited love letter. Girl, some people just cannot write love letters and that's that bless him. I will not ask him again because this evidently does not come naturally to him. I love him very much and he has myriad amazing qualities including the ability to make me laugh like a drain. He is thoughtful in other ways and sweet and clever and kind and sexy AF but love letter writing is not my man's forte. I won't go into detail but I will say it sounds like a formal application for a bank loan. <laughs> <laughs> a formal application for a bank loan. That's the tone of it. The kind of intimacy you might share with a bank teller or an insurance person. He signs off with your humble servant. Ro, is there any way we could do a love letter writing video for the men in prison? Please feel free to share your own tales of your man's letter writing prowess. Okay, so first of all, share your own tales in the comments below so me and can laugh our butts off in the comments, just like she made us all laugh our heinies off with her hysterical Facebook post that I now turned into a video for all of us. So here are my tips, because I know she was joking, but come on, girl, I'm gonna respond to you. Here are my tips for your loved one if they're inside and they need help writing a love letter just like husband. Not everybody is gifted in the art of letter writing, or it could be worse. Your loved one could be so gifted with the English language and they can write and it sounds like they are singing a song. However, they will not respond to your beautifully written love letter because you didn't write it. They will not respond to it for other reasons. Ugh. Anyhow, this is not about so-called said person, hypothetical, made up person. This is about her love and yours. You guys are more than welcome to take notes. This is literally a step-by-step -step guide of what your loved one should do to help them write you a sexy love letter. Number one, go to the commissary. Buy stamps, buy some ramen, and buy some snacks. That's it, really easy. That's number one, do it, done. Then you're going to proceed to number two, which is find the love letter guy, because inside of jail, there is a guy for everything. So go around your block, ask around the yard, find him, nail him down, become his friend, or at least become his next customer. Number three, you're going to tell him your girl's name and her three best qualities, 
Simple, easy peasy, my friend. Her name and her three best qualities. Number four, you're going to exchange currency. So either those stamps, soups, Snickers, whatever it is that you bought at the commissary, you are going to exchange that with him and you are going to pay him for his services with said stamps, Snickers, soups, whatever it is. Number five, now you're gonna step away. Do not stand over his shoulder. Do not micromanage him. Go to the yard, do 752 pull-ups like you guys like to do every single day. Go eat some cup of noodles, do your thing, go in the shower, think about your girl, relieve some stress. Whatever it is that you do to waste time in there, you do that. Go watch the Kardashians or Basketball Wives because we all know you guys are more obsessed with reality TV and gossip in there more than we are out here. Do your thing, leave him alone, let him do his craft. Number six get the letter from your love letter guy. Number seven, this is probably the most important tip of all, okay? Number seven, take said letter, sit it on your desk, take a new sheet of paper, get a pen, a pencil, whatever your preferred writing utensil is, and you're going to rewrite this letter in your own handwriting and then sign it in your own unique way that you sign every other letter. Number eight, address that ish, put it in an envelope, walk it to the mailbox, which is, I'm assuming, just a cardboard box somewhere by the officer station, walk it to the mailbox, drop it off, and whistle as you walk your way all the way back to your cell. Number nine, wait three to five business days, or if your love expands over the ocean, you might have to wait a week or two, but just be patient, sit and wait, this is probably the most difficult part of this letter, maybe. As long as you paid your guy, then this will be the most difficult part of your letter because even though we're all in this situation where we have nothing but time, it seems that patient is our least learned virtue. And number 10, after you waited long enough until she got that letter, pick up the phone, call your girl, and have the best phone sex of your relationship. You're very welcome, glad to be of service, from a fellow poetically challenged prison wife who feels your pain. I hope I made you guys laugh. I hope I made this day a little bit with my response because she was not expecting me. I don't think she was expecting me at least to make a response video. But just having a little fun with you guys, if it's not our forte, some of us have to be resourceful. And remember, even if he gets somebody to write it in there, we have the world's best cheating system, which is Google. I actually saw a t-shirt the other day. Somebody was wearing cutest thing ever. I'll pop a picture of it up there if I can find it. And it says, who needs Google? My wife knows everything. Yes, Adam will have that t-shirt when he's home, just saying. So I love you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know if I helped you laugh during this crazy, crazy anxiety, stressful time. I know for me personally, every time I sneeze, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, that's it, life's over. It's a little ridiculous. But laughter is honestly the best medicine and I am happy to share that with you. As I know, my friend on all of her posts on Facebook always makes me do. You guys keep staying strong, keep loving strong, keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to it all being behind you. Lots of love from my heart and I am sure his heart to all of yours. I will see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one. Bye guys.